Hello, Monsters of Bound here. Welcome to part 12 of my Marathi campaign in Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. Last time we fought a, well, a battle against Tyrion who has... He's, he's climbed the mountains to get away from us. He's not looking very happy either. From the looks of it, it sounds like he's going to die from attrition next turn. I'm not entirely sure if that's, that's right. Um, but never mind. Uh, so yeah, so Tyrion has attempted to climb to the top of a mountain to escape us. Um, after he set up a Butlin's holiday camp just outside Toran Rock. And I cannot abide budget holiday camps. So we had to put, go out and put a stop to that. So he did. Um, but he did do quite a bit of damage to Marathi's forces. And the trouble uh, with having someone murder half your army with a giant flaming sword is that uh, good help is so, so hard to find. So I think I'm going to recruit another Dreadlord and ship some better units um, over to Marathi like an evil pointy-eared Q from James Bond. Uh, not the new Q, uh, the, the good one, the old one, Desmond thingy, whatever his name is. Yeah, so we're going to recruit uh, a new Lord, which I'm going to... Oh, uh, Tuern. Helenor. Evil Lynn. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, spiteful. Maybe? Uh, let's get someone with high loyalty, because they're probably going to get... Uh, so let's go for another Az Azuric. Oh, we're not going to have two Azurics. Uh, let's get Evil Lynn. And uh, she's got five loyalty. That's that's okay. That's fine. Let's give her Root Marcher. And you know what? As soon as we're going to be recruiting, we'll get the uh, recruitment reduction as well. Good. Right. So, what does Marathi want? I... Let's get... Um... I would like... Both these guys cost the same. His charge defense, he's got murderous mastery. So these guys are good against infantry, these good guys are good against large. Um, 47 attack to 54, 49 defense to 33. So these, the Hardganeth hard executioners are more, uh, more offense orientated and the Black Guard more defense orientated, but that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? You know what? I'm going to get a couple of units of cold ones, I think. Is it time? Um, otherwise, I'm fairly happy with Marathi's force, but I might get rid of the Dark Riders just because I don't think they do particularly well against the High Elves who have a very sort of um, ranged force. Maybe a cold one chariot. I'm not very good with chariots. Maybe I need to give... Let's get a chariot, give it a try, see what happens. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to recruit uh, some Dreadnight Cold Ones and uh, our Q is going to send them over. Latest in Cold One technology, heated saddles, hidden repeater bolt throw located in the mouth and oil slick jet located in the rear. Assuming you feed them five day old meat beforehand. Um, good, so that's what we're going to do there. We're going to recruit that, send them over to back Marathi up. Assuming, assuming they can drop the... Uh, no, that, that, sh that should be okay. That should be fine. Um, okay, and we're up here, we've got the uh, the forge bound, more like, uh, oh, got it, disgorge bound, disgorged, disgorged bound, yeah, disgorge, of course, defined in the Oxford Dictionary as, I guess, to throw up food or something, uh, plus it rhymes with forge, probably would have been better had I not had to explain that, but that's fine, well, that works really well, I'm pleased with that, that's good, they're the disgorged bound now. And uh, Selveth is dealing with them. We are we are making headway there. But I think I want... Mind you, we're not doing particularly well for cash at the moment. So maybe I need to... I was going to get a Black Ark, but... Maybe I need to hold off. Uh, maybe I need to hold off just for the moment. But that should be okay. So Hero not moved. That's Kag Herosh. Um, what, do I, what do I want you to do? Do I want you to head up here or do I just want you to... I mean, currently you're buffing our slave income by about 200, which is, you know, that's all right. It helps. So maybe I just want to leave you there for the moment. So maybe we'll just leave you there. Hello. 
Hopefully the High Elves won't lay siege to us this turn. Well, they did. That's not great. But Tyrion's army... Uh, I guess I will enter on the side of my ally. I have to. Okay, why do you not want to take the Black Pillar, Malekith? What's up with that? Oh, you're attacking me. Okay, sure. Uh, let's drop the Frenzy Banner on Selveth. And they've got a whole bunch of shades, but... um. I mean, it's brave. Do I just want to auto resolve that? I, I mean, it doesn't look that difficult to win that fight, to be honest. Uh, let's just auto resolve. Okay, took a little bit more damage than I thought there, but we did wipe that army out so we can get some slaves from that, so we get a bit of cash as well. Do we get anything else? A lichbone pendant, which uh, gives some physical resistance and magical resistance, which is, you know, pretty nice. So that's good. Uh, let's take the slaves. Maybe I should have fought that. It probably would have been a better idea. Hindsight. Never mind. So Toran Rock is under siege yet again. Uh, we got broken by the lash, and the merest swish of leather is enough to make them alert and dying, simply dying to a base. That's more speed for Cold One Knights and all those different different units. Mission successful. Uh, defeat Velosh. That means we've got plus 12 leadership for our armies, and a whole bunch of people have been killed in battle. No. Uh, right, Tyrion's force is looking a bit beaten up. Yeah, Mind you, yeah. so are we. Oh my god, they've got dragons. Uh, but our garrison force is looking... I mean, do I attack? I mean, taking out that force would be straightforward. I've got... What are you? Shem's Burning Gaze. So you're a Light Wizard, I guess. Two Swordmasters, a bunch of... Okay, well, I'll hold off for the moment. What about up here? So, Selveth took a little bit of damage there, but we can just replace those units fairly easily. So let's go ahead and Good do that. Uh, that's fine, we'll do that. And you do have some skill points. Okay, so what do we want to give? Okay, so you can get one of these abilities. So you can either get Cry of War, so that's going to give you an extra charge bonus, extra leadership, and causes fear. The Rune of Cain, which gives you more melee attack and more weapon strength. Or Witch Brew, which gives you 42 seconds of plus 26 melee attack and 50 weapon damage and makes you Rampage. And you get three uses of that, really. You know what, I'm going to go for the... I think I'm going to go for the Witch Brew. Sounds pretty good. That's what we're doing. We're going for the Witch Brew. Uh, why don't you have the Charm Shield? And I don't think we've got anything else we can give you. No, we don't. That's okay. And Elamaya has another skill point, which we're going to pop in. Um, I mean, I would love to get Pit of Shades, but maybe we, let's get Hakati's Blessing for extra winds of magic uh, reserve. Okay, public order down there is not particularly good. Uh, Azric, you are going to continue northward. Still getting uh, some units being recruited there. Okay. Do I want to fight this? My only concern is Morathi because she's very low on health. We can heal her up though. I mean, taking out Tyrion should be pretty easy. He's barely got any health. 
this high wizard does have Tempest though, which would be a pain. Um, I mean, it does say we've got. Maybe we could finish off Tyrion's force with our own. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish off Tyrion's force with Morassi's. Because we just have to be a little bit careful of that wizard. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. And we should be able to do that fairly easily. So that's, that's what we're going to do. Should we just auto resolve that? Let's just auto resolve it. That's fine. Let's take the replenishment. So Marathi has a skill point. So we're going to pop that in. Oh, we could get Elven Healing, which would be quite nice. But Quartermaster Reduction of um, Upkeep would be also very good. She's up 27, so we've got a little way to go. Smoke and Mirrors I'm not massively bothered by. I would quite like Blessed by Evil. But... Oh, well, I might go for Night Lord. We are getting some cold ones here. I'm going to go for Night Lord. Pop that in there. And Tressa has a skill point, which we're going to put into. She's level 15. Let's go for Doom Bolt. Do some more character Terror damage. Today. And Sabioth. Uh, go for. I mean, we, I'd like quite like Assassin's Trophy. But additional income post battle would be quite nice as well so resistance leadership let's go for counter strike let me get assassin's trophy that's a 40 second hex which reduces melee defense and attack on the enemy hero quite significantly so that's probably going to be a good option okay we, we killed Tyrion's force which means do we? Do we go after? Do we do that? Not no. Worth my time. Okay, that's fine. We won't do that then because Phoenix I don't want to fight him one on one. I don't particularly what? want to do that. Right, Evil Lynn will be ready next turn. Do I want? No, I'm going I'm to hold off. Azric, you're continuing northward. And Selveth has recruited, and Kagharosh is not doing anything. And we've got research available as well. Excellent. Okay. So let's get the daylight denied. Being beaten, half starved, and kept perpetually in darkness coaxes the very best work from the enslaved. Yep, that sounds familiar to uh, to my workplace as well. So we're going to go for daylight denied. Oh, they're laying siege again. What a surprise. Well, it's only one army this time, so... Could be worse. Okay, Selveth is going to have to move quick, because it looks like... Nagrond is hitting all of the forge-bound cities, which is, you know, lovely, finally, for them to do that. But it does mean I don't want them to take them. I need to get... I need to take those cities. If I can at least get the capital, then I should be able to spread corruption enough that if they do... Where are you going? Don't like that. If they do uh, try to take one of the cities, I should be able to cause a rebellion and uh, take it for myself. Okay. Uh, the following character, Nightshade. No. Uh, well, I'm not going to assassinate them, but I will kill them. You have my guarantee. Okay, let's move. I don't know what 
where this this, this black arc is going. I, I, I've got to keep an eye on it, but I'm not. What lies ahead? Right, Evil Lynn, you're going to head over and lend your support. And uh, let's let's give Banner of Shift to Marathi to make her a little bit quicker. She now moves at 134 speed, which means she can outrun yeah all of these. Bloody hell, that Fire Spire Phoenix moves quite quickly, doesn't he? Okay, Razor Standard. Let's give that to the Witch Elves, maybe? Because that's going to increase their, their armor-piercing damage, which they don't really have much of. I actually have a fair chunk of armor-piercing damage. It's not bad. Um, what, how much does that give? Plus 10. Not bad at all. Okay. I mean, with the garrison forces, I think we should be able to win this battle fairly fairly easily. I might need to focus my uh, bolt throwers on those dragons, though, because they're going to be they're going to be a bit nasty. But uh, it should be fine. A fairly potent force to deal with, but I think we'll be okay, Marathi. Is coming in. She's going to. I mean, she's very low on health, so we have to be pretty careful. She's only got eight, and, oh my god, watch out! Jeez. Yes, they've got a, a light mage in there somewhere who is currently launching bolts. That poor old Marathi. Uh, we're going to drop a uh, soul steel on top of this bolt re uh, bolt thrower. That's going to that's going to heal us up a little bit. That's that's looking a little bit better already. Uh, they do currently have two dragons, and uh, they're pretty high ranked as well. The shades being dropped on top of these units over here, which is going to do a fair bit of damage. And of course, Marathi is going to rack up the kills. And she's looking, look at that, 1,397 health already. And the bolt throw looking a bit less healthy. So uh, those Swords Masters of Hoeth have taken a, a bit of a, a bit of a mincing. And our force is currently up on this ridge over here. Uh, it's it's a bit it's a bit of a different. No, I, I was trying to work out. I think I think normally, I think normally we we're over here. Maybe I think yeah. Hang on, yeah, that ridge over there. So I think normally our battlefield's over there, but apparently we've moved. I decided to pick a different battlefield. Ah, oh, well you know, it's nice nice change of scenery, isn't it? That's that's nice. So Marathi is going to drop another soul, a soul steel on top of the dragons and uh, the phoenix to try and uh, make herself a little bit healthier. There we go, it's uh, getting a little bit of health in there and uh, doing them some damage. So Marathi, almost half health now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Marathi, watch out. Marathi. Oh, that stunk. Watch out, Marathi, you've got some that look like sperm after you. Probably not for the first time, but run away! It's just, you know, leg it. Indeed. Oof, she took a bit of a beating from that. Never mind. Uh, the dragons and uh, the phoenix are currently over on our right flank. I'm moving my Harganeth executioners and my shades in to act as... I mean, I, I, my guess is... They're probably going to incinerate these Corsairs. These Corsairs are, are just, uh, you know, sacrificial roasting. Uh, maybe we cannot... Oh, yeah, well... Oh, it's not... That'll probably be fine. Once they charge into our line, uh, we can hit them with the Harganeth Executioners. We should be... Ow! Oh, Marathi, that... Jesus. Oh, that's painful. Oh, in come the dragons. Are they going to incinerate the Corsairs? Yep, looks like... Oh, holy crap! Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, fine. So those dragons have basically evaporated. A couple of units of Corsairs and are charging directly into our front line, backed up by uh, some Silver Helms. But uh, our... Dark shards are opening fire. In come some chariots and go straight through my lines without stopping. Why are my chariots never that effective? God damn it. Rathi is, is, is having to heal herself up again. There's a phoenix in our lines. There's a dragon over there. Oh, there's two phoenixes. Basically, there's just there's large monsters all over our lines. The Harganeth Executioner's charged in to try and, uh, try and kill it and finish it off. 
One of the dragons is down to 621 health. Marathi takes another blast in the face. And uh, frankly, this light wizard is starting to really piss me off. In come more silver helms. More of my spearmen go flying. Dragon over here, which has been... Uh, he's out of control thanks to the witch elves. So he isn't running away. Is that a good thing? Uh, I mean, it, I guess, it, guess it depends on your point of view. From the point of view of those spearmen, it's probably not a good thing. Uh, but there we go. It is now broken and fleeing. The uh, the Fire Phoenix, however, is continuing to uh, wreck, wreck our poor Dark Shards. The Frost Heart Phoenix comes in again. I think he's trying to rescue the Prince, who is now surrounded by Harganeth Executioners. Come on, can we, can we finish off this Frost Heart Phoenix? It's going to get away. Oh, it takes off and then... Oh, nose dives. Goodbye, Frost Heart Phoenix. The Prince is getting away. Uh, our Harpies are finishing off their Bolt Thrower crew. And I think both dragons managed to get away, but only just. They took a lot of damage. The, fro the fire... So the, the Flame Spire Phoenix is uh, continuing to be a bit... Uh, he's coming straight in to our Shades. Thankfully our Shades aren't quite as uh, as pathetic as our Dark Shards and can actually fight in melee. So they're going to start hacking away at it. And the Prince over the distance there is completely surrounded by Harganeth Executioners. He's not going to last very long. Oh, yeah, and it looks like the, the Flame Spire Phoenix got shot to pieces by our Dark Shards. Excellent. The chariot is also running away with 27 kills there. And the prince is currently surrounded and Marathi. Uh, Marathi needs some health back, so guess who's going to be a donor? I'm amazed Marathi managed to survive that. She took horrendous damage from that, uh, from that light wizard. Oop, and he's dead. That was messy. Right, well that should give us um That should give us a breather for a little while, but uh, yeah, and some cash, so that's good. I think a lot of my income is currently coming from killing high elves at the moment, so I can't really complain. But we are definitely going to take the uh, replenishment. Indeed, take these wretches away. We've got armor of fortune, which is quite nice. We'll kill the whole bunch of elves. Uh, do I I'm going to have to chase him down. Let's go for the other Night Lord. It's going to be a good option. Uh, you are still a turn away, aren't you? Let's get you a little bit. Let's just move you up. Fine. So they've got a couple. I, I need to wipe that army out. Do I auto resolve? I'm going to. I'm going to save, and then I'm going to auto resolve. Okay, that's fine. So that's those dragons dead. We've got a luck stone as well. Let's go back and replenish. Uh, that's fine. And Tressa is a skill point. She can get Dark Pegasus at level 17. So let's get a... Oh, but mind you, I found I haven't really used Tressa very much. Barely any. I barely used her, in fact. So do I maybe want to go for... Do I? This one is capable enough. Let's go for steel technology, and then let's. It's got a ninety-five percent chance. I am so we've successfully stolen technology. That's going to help us with our research. So that's going to be pretty good. Go with that, and then we can uh, fill up Marathi's army with these cold one knights and this cold one chariot. That's what we're going to do there. You're moving north. You're almost up there. Kag Harosh is continuing to monitor the slave situation. He's uh, he's like a middle manager, basically. Uh, Tressa's got a skill point. Let's go for more steel technology. Increase the chances of that. Of course, 
the reason that's quite a high uh, chance is because we currently got the sacrifice to Hercati, which is increasing experience and uh, experience gain and also success chance for sorceresses. So that's pretty good. So that's why that was so high. But maybe we can use keep using Tressa to steal tech from the Eagle Gate. Oh, Tress has been ki Oh, that's just... Uh, oh, you... Do not presume my patience. Marketh! Hello. Same. Why do you like me? Treaties, rural tolerance, military actions against the forge bound, war with the Hmong, technology, blah, blah, blah. You want a gift. Um, You have two choices. Give me what I want or I take it. Uh, well... Is it your birthday? I guess it is. Well, you asked, what is this trifle you labor for me? Erg, uh, you asked for it, you. You know what, Malekith, we could fall out, just throwing that out there. Lots of stuff going on, but nothing particularly important. It's like, it's like a yeah, it's like Ingmir tried to assault Selveth but failed. And the Chaos forces are continuing to throw themselves at Temple of Adioth and having absolutely no effect. Or Tressa has been nobbled. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's get Marathi out. Let's move you over here. And we will take these units from you. Thank you very much. And then I'm afraid your surplus to requirements off ski. Bye. There we go. So Marathi's now got some cold one knights and a cold one chariot in her force. How very thrilling. Okay, Elamaya does have a new skill point. Pretty good, probably because she's uh, getting all that experience from the Ritual of Hecate. I, I mean, Withering is very nice. That would reduce the Winds of Magic for the Withering. Um, but do we want to enfeeble the foe as well? Or do we want the Penumbral Pendulum? Let's get the pen up. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, let's get rank two in that as well. There we go. Okay. Now uh, we can take on the monoliths. I don't think this is going to be. Uh, let's give the. So we get more physical resistance. You know, let's give. Let's give the additional physical resistance to Fetcher. It's going to give a twenty percent physical resistance, which is going to make her quite tank. Uh, oh wait, does she have that already? Does that not make any difference actually? What does she have normally? Oh, she only has 10. Oh, okay. Well, let's give it to her. She's got the same physical resistance as the Witch Elves. Uh, I mean, this doesn't look like it's going to be particularly difficult, so I think we'll just auto-resolve that one. And, yeah, we lost some more units. When will I learn? Uh, let's occupy the monoliths. Scarecrow banner. The Clawed Coast has been secured. Oh, something I did want to do. Uh... Yes, yes. So uh, Charles Carlson did say that I had a growth building in in my starting settlement, which I do. But of course, it's maxed out. Don't need it anymore. So let's get rid of that, and we can build some roads there next turn. I also want to get the Court of the Dark Prince there. Let's do that. That's fine. Good. Right. Marathi's force is ready to go. Uh, you know what? I don't. Dreadlord, Let's recruit off. some replacements. So, with noble purpose. 
I want some shades. Uh, no, I don't think I do actually. I don't think I do. Let's just get some bleak swords instead. Uh, they wanted to violate Ulthwan. Well, that's that's a thing. They want us to raid the Griffin Gate, which is this one up here. Well, I'm probably not going to do that, I'll be honest. What's the corruption like here? Pretty good, actually. Not great, but not bad. The people are okay, public order there is fine. Do I want to build anything? Not bad. I could build a Dread Mance for more public order. Let's do that. Let's build a Dread Mance there. That's going to up our public order. One more turn and we'll have be able to upgrade the uh, the House of Pleasure. And ah, Selveth has another skill point. Ah, she's hit level 10. Okay, oh, this is the exciting bit. I've been looking forward to this. Okay, so we can now pick a name of power. Now, I, I fancy turning Selveth into sort of like a, a super duper powerful warrior so let's pick a martial name of power so that's going to choose a name of power that improves the lord's own combat skills so we're going to pick that we've got two skill points of fact so let's also go for um let's go for hard to hit okay now right here we go so in lieu of the tithe, he owes you, a dark elf alchemist offers to brew a magical concoction. However, he only has sufficient regents for one potion. One of resilience or one of aggression. Which would you prefer? So we're going to get the elixir of the black bone, which is going to give us the name of power Blackstone, which is going to give us physical resistance of 10% and enemy hero actions as success, minus 10%. Or the potion of bloody rage, which is going to give us blood scourge, weapon strength plus 10%, going to make a frenzy and give us a passive ability, the hunger, which I think is a regeneration. So I actually quite fancy blood scourge. So it's going to be Selveth Blood Scourge. So that's what we're going to do. So we have a look at Selveth now. So Selveth Blood 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 Scourge. So yeah, she she gets regeneration. So replenishes hit points in combat. She also gets frenzy, which she gets because of the banner. But we can take the banner off her and give it to someone else. So that's that's nice. And she also gets additional weapon strength. So that's all pretty good. She's going to be pretty pretty brutal in melee combat. But what what's okay? She's got armor piercing twin. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give her the armor of fortune. Um, I think talisman of endurance is fine. Blade of ruin. I think it's either, yeah. So we've only got actually two two weapons. So that'd be fine. She's got potion strength and a cold one. Is there anything else we want to give her? Um, Sabioth has got that. Yeah, no, that's that's. That's fine. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It's all kind of all kinds of fun things you can give your uh, your dark elf lords. I really like the the names ability. I, in, in, if anything, I wish they would expand that. I know it's kind of special for the dark elves, but it would be nice if you kind of got a similar sort of thing with some of the other races because it really does help you um, specialize your generals. But in sort of a random, you, you can kind of push them in a direction. You can say, I'm going to make them better in combat. I'm going to make their army better. I'm going to make them sort of have a faction ability. But you're not entirely sure what it's going to be. It's always random what you're going to get. So that's that's pretty cool. I enjoy that. So more of that would be nice, I think. Okay, Marathi's force is replenishing. The garrison is replenishing as well, especially those poor old, poor old, Black Art Corsairs who got absolutely just got roasted, got absolutely annihilated. So they should be replenishing now. That's yes. good. Right, we need to. Is, what, can we actually? Can we build anything special here? Don't even browse. Uh, okay, so we got iron there. The monoliths we can build. Uh, so marble, twisted glade. You just got a port. Okay. I think Caron Car is a special building for more slaves. I think. Garrison there is looking fairly potent, so I think we are going to need Azrik to come up and assist us, but he should be there very soon. Kag, Kag Harosh, you're going to stay there. We've got a commandment available. Let's go for... I think the public order is probably going to be quite useful there. Oh, oh. Uh, 
Oh, of course, we don't all own all the settlements there. That's why uh, we got tax rate there, but we could go for public order. But you know what? I don't think we need it. And here we get income from slaves and growth. Do we need that? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably that's probably fine. Okay, so we need to head out. Uh, I'm going to beeline for Caron Car because if we can take Caron Car, just like we've done down here, because we've got Hag Hall, we can upgrade to the, um, the Court of the Dark Prince. That's going to increase. That's going to increase chaos corruption by massive amounts, which means that the uh, the uh, oh, they've got a wait. What building have they got that increases it by nine? Oh, that's my building, that's why. Uh, dense. <sighs> Sorry, fine, I'm with it. Okay, yes, so here we get the corruption is minus 15 uh, public order, which means it's going to rebel, which I hope eventually means that the Temple of Adioth will get raised and then I can go and build it. So even though Malekith's got it and there's no way to actually get it off him without going to war, if I up the corruption eventually, hopefully, that settlement will fall. So that's that's the plan. So if I can get Karon Carr, even if Malekith managed to take Black Light Tower or Stavers Point, we should be able to um, overwhelm the settlement's public order with corruption. Uh, what do I want to do? Okay, so we've got, a, we've got some public order coming in, but not a huge amount. I'm going to get rid of the Shades building here. Don't want that. Guild halls. Do I want that? Um, he's bringing income. And I kind of need that recruitment building. Okay, I'll leave that for the moment. Uh, that's fine. What's that black arc up to? I don't trust that. The Hmong don't look particularly dangerous. Mind you, I have got a mod installed that uh, does does limit their power somewhat, because otherwise the Norsekans just go mental and uh, just end up with about five stacks each. Okay, so we've got an Overseer. That's nice. Who's got that? Just in general, is it? Okay. Uh, they've assaulted the garrison, but that's no... That's no biggie. Right, we're going to march straight for Caron Car. It looks like Fetcher has got a skill point as well, and I think I'm going to pop that. I mean, we've got plant replenishment. Replenishment is good. Um, melee, def melee defense, I think, is probably going to be a fairly good option. Let's go for melee defense there. And Selveth is heading straight for. Uh, for Caron Car as quickly as possible. Of Let's get Azric in the monoliths. And 
Ah, uh, yes, we did. We did get the the uh, large occupied elven colony. So I wanted to upgrade the next rank of the Hall of Hedonism, and I'm going to get the Dread Mance for more public order. I don't really need the slave market. We don't really have a lot of slaves here. Um, we've already got that. Oh yeah. Let's get uh, some infrastructure. Yes, the black roads. All dark, terrible highways lead to Nagaroth. Does, does not, I mean, Nagaroth is quite icy. Making the roads, I guess all roads are kind of black. Never mind, I do love infrastructure, so uh, we're going to build some roads. So there we go. That's also going to uh, increase income from slaves by 5%, income from trade by 3% as well. It's also going to give us some growth, but that's not a really, that's not really a, a major, major consideration. Not at the moment. Uh, I mean, we could... Um... I mean, I... I could potentially start accepting slaves at the Black Coast as well. But I probably won't do that right away. Let's get a sorceress says... A... Actually, first, let's... What does the... What does Hexotl feel? Um, they're declining. Can we get... Yes. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's give them more money. That's you know, better, somewhat. So if we can finish off the Forge Bound, then I can at least send an army down to Sildra Tor to sort of like keep an eye on things there, and I can let the relationship sort of drop off while I concentrate more on Ulth One. But at least, at least I don't have a defense force. Sabioth. Oh, we could get Assassin's Trophy, or I could make you immortal. I think immortality. Who wants to live forever? As it turns out, most beings wouldn't say no. So that's going to mean that uh, even if he gets wounded in battle... Or, oh, he's got two skill points, even better. Assassin's Trophy as well, then. So it should be of no great surprise that those already adept in the art of silent death continue to improve with time and practice. So we're going gonna to do that. Uh, gonna leave that. We've got you heading up there. That's all fine. Good. Oh, Tyrion's back. Joy. Okay, looks like they're leaving the Forge Bound alone now. That's good. That means we can concentrate on taking the last few cities. That is going to make our empire sort of quite long. But um, on the plus side, at least to the north of us, there's just Malekith. And Malekith likes us, so... You're really not doing very well, are you, Chaos Forces? Uh, okay. A brutal business, more weapon damage, faction wide, or worldwide, to be honest. Uh, failure, that's like. Who are these guys? Greenskin Rebels. I guess Greenskin Rebels 
spawn from here? Yes, I did. And uh, these Chaos Forces not doing a particularly good job at sacking and raising the Temple of Adioth. Rather poor show there. Um, how far can you move before you do that? Let's just move you up. Can you just do that whenever? Power awaits me. For the witch I guess you can. Alright, LMI has another skill point. Let's pop that in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give her a dark steed. It's going to help her move around quicker. Which is always good. Okay, the monoliths are, are barely okay. Let's get the marble quarry. Everyone loves a bit of marble. And we're going to move Azrik up to Blacklight Tower to take that. I hope the monolith should be okay. They're just it's small force over here, but I don't think even yeah, I don't think they'd be able to take that even if they, they manage to attack. So let's upgrade to the Dark Tower there. And Marathi is surprisingly not under siege. That's looking all pretty good. Uh, and Kag Harosh, yeah, we're not going to do anything with you just yet. We could get another Death Hag. Can we get a Death Hag here? I don't think we can. No. No, we couldn't get a Death Hag. Ah, we could get one here, though. Murdredessa? Mer Murdredess? Yeah, no. Kaylin. Let's get Kaylin because I can say her name. We're going to pop her over here and just up the corruption, I think. What oh, in fact, we can get two, couldn't we? No, we couldn't. Insufficient funds. But uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, just up the corruption. Maybe up the corruption at Eagle Gate as well. Just really sort of make life difficult for the High Elves as much as, as, much as, as, much as humanly or elfenly possible. Okay, so we're getting a small amount of replenishment for that. Six troops per turn. There is a small army there, but I don't think that's any real... Under any real... Yeah, they're not a threat. They're basically... They're not any kind of threat. So that's going to be okay. We've got a population surplus at the Clawed Coast. Malekith is finally finishing off that other Dark Elf faction. What were they called? I think I'm at war with them, but I just don't actually care about them all that much. They're too far north to worry about. It's just not my concern. But what did you do? What did you do? Oh, you tried to wound Fetcher and failed abysmally. That works for me. That's oh, Harganeth. Harganeth is who Malekith is at war with. But I think he's almost finished them off. Honestly, those Chaos forces literally the worst. At least these green skins are trying. Okay, let's take out Black Light Tower. Uh, yeah, I think we can always resolve that one fairly easily. There we go. And we are going to occupy cause... Because I don't want to cause too many public order problems. Public order isn't great there. Uh, in fact, let's not... Yeah, let's cancel that. 
because I've, I could. Let's demolish that and I'll build the public order building there. That should sort the problems out there. And in the meantime, Caron to Car is going to be under siege. And we're going to build some siege towers. That should be fine. And it looks like as Azrik has got a skill point. We're going to pop that in, I think, Inspiring Presence. And Marathi, uh, right. I mean, we could, we could potentially attack Tyrion. I am Marathi. No. He's got quite a few Illyrian Reavers. Phoenix Queen. But I think, I think, I think we can kill him. Again, I mean, he, I mean, he, he'll, he'll come back. But it'll just be, you know, a nice change. Uh, he's in a stance as well, isn't he? Yeah, so he's Leith's Blessing, which gives them minus two melee defense. Got plus ten speed for all spell casters, plus ma uh, winds of magic. But they don't have any wizards, so that's completely pointless. So I reckon I can wipe them out, which I'm going to do. But that will have to be next time. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.